Hi, my name is David. Hi, my name is Simone. Hi, my name is Savannah. My name is Eric. I joined because I love to sing. And I can sing by myself, but there's a lot of notes I can't actually sing. You know, I'm a bass. I can't sing most of the melodies to a lot of songs. But when you're all together, you create this sound that's just, it's amazing and it's, it's unparalleled. I think what inspires me to sing is that it's really a lot like prayer and you get to connect with God very personally. And I'm a musical person, so it makes sense to me. I enjoy it and I get to relate to what God and what he's done. It's cool to see how using the talents that God has given me, I can actually be um, of help and heal somebody if they're going through something. I hope that when we perform that people will um, be blessed by the music and that the message of the song will really come through um, in spite of our shortcomings and in spite of however we, the performance goes, I really hope that they will hear the words of the song and be blessed. I hope they will be able to come away with something deeper and something that will make them think or maybe prick their heart just a little bit um, to make them ask why, why we sing and why we sing what we sing. I think one thing that's unique about chamber singers is that all of, all of the chamber singers were amateur musicians. You know, none of us are in school to take um, any kind of musical degree. You know, we're, we're all just students that are doing other things in life. Um, but we've taken time out of our schedule to come and, and do music. I think our audience is actually unique because most people do never get the chance to sing for depression recovery programs, which we do on a regular basis in our choir. Everyone is there because they want to be. And so because they want to be, they're going to put 100% in, which just makes the entire thing so much better. I think something that's unique is just how focused the group is when we all come together for a common goal. And that common goal is not about ourselves, it's, it's about reaching out to other people. I once had an experience where uh, I sang in a quartet with some of my friends and then after the concert, um, I had a young girl come up to me and tell me that um, because of the concert we had just sang, uh, she had decided not to commit suicide because she was going to commit suicide that night. And because of the music, she was like rethinking that decision. So I think that was probably one of the most powerful things that's happened to me. Probably when we were on tour last semester and I don't know what it was exactly, but it was a Sabbath afternoon and everything we were singing really spoke to me. And I needed that at that point. One of the most powerful performances I remember was when we were singing with uh, for a TCI concert or for a it's for our total community involvement concert and there were many people from the community there and I just remember we were singing the song when I survey and I just remember it was the most intense feeling and the most intense song or time we'd ever sung this song and you could just see the look in the director's eyes and it was almost like he was angry but it made you sing with all of your might and it, I've never felt such an intense and I've never sung a song in that such an intense way, and it was really impactful. I think my most impactful performance was with Chamber Singers. It was um, a depression recovery concert, actually. And we were singing for, it's not, there wasn't that many people. I think there was like 10, 12 people in the room. Um, but we were singing this song called Come Ye Disconsolate. And it talks about how there is no sorrow that heaven cannot heal and heaven that cannot cure. And you can just see it on people's faces, you know, that they understood what I was singing about. And they understood the message that God is not just a great and powerful God, but that He's a personal God, that He's actually concerned with how I feel. And you could see the tears starting to roll down their faces. And I don't think I've ever experienced the power of music like that, where you just you're singing and you realize that this song is so, so touching, not just to me, but to someone else. And we're sharing that experience. Hi, my name is Savannah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got some cool new things coming out soon. And I know you'll be joined. Hold on, no, no, no. <laughs>